accounted for. Um, what we are now learning is that um, a new part of the Pentagon that uh, is, has just been occupied was one of the areas that was terribly hit. Uh, we believe there are going to be quite a few casualties from the Army, the Navy, and the Marine Corps in particular, uh, as well as the Defense Intelligence Agency. Do you have any, under any idea what the num quite a number of casualties means? Uh, no idea whatsoever, Peter. Uh, you consider the density uh, in the Pentagon. There are 20 to 24,000 people that work there. Uh, it took out one huge slice of it, uh, so you have to do your own arithmetic. Uh, if you look at the size of the gash over my shoulder, uh, you have to believe that there are many, many hundreds of people who died. And what have the briefers had to say this afternoon, John, about the state of alert in the uh, in the world generally, with all U.S. forces on such a state of war. I'm sorry, before you go to that, we're just looking at a picture which gives us, I think, the best view yet, if this is an accurate drawing, um, of, of, of what the degree of damage or penetration of the plane will have been to the Pentagon. I'm not sure that's absolutely accurate, but by the way, ABC's Ann Compton tells us the president may be on the move again, and ABC's Charlie Gibson as information as well. Charlie? Well, Peter, there's going to be hundreds, I guess, and we don't know the number of personal stories that are going to come out of this. People who have died in the World Trade Center or at the Pentagon or on the airplanes that were hijacked and crashed in various places. We now understand the wife of Ted Olson. He is the Solicitor General of the United States. Mm. America came to know him because he's the man who argued the President's case in front of the Supreme Court. George W. Bush's case in front of the Supreme Court. He was not yet president when the case of the Florida election was being disputed before the Supreme Court. Ted Olson's wife, Barbara, who is a former federal prosecutor herself, she was on the plane that crashed into the Pentagon. We had heard this from friends of the family. Regrettably, it has now been confirmed. She apparently was able to make a phone call to her husband, the Solicitor General, Ted Olson, mm -hmm and tell him they were being hijacked, that all of those on board the plane, that is American Airlines Flight 77, that had taken off from Dulles Airport heading for Los Angeles this morning, a 757, uh, that had 64 people aboard, all of the passengers had been herded into the back of the plane. Uh, she was able to get a call out saying they were in the process of being hijacked, and then shortly after that, uh, the plane crashed into the Pentagon.